This is an instructional video on how to use the Natural Resources Conservation Services Web Soil Survey. The first thing you want to do is open a web browser and go to websoilsurvey.nrcs.usda.gov. This will bring you to the Web Soil Survey homepage. The Web Soil Survey is a good tool for general information about your soil type and its suitability for different activities and structures. However, it will not give you detailed information about your soil quality and nutrients. If you want that type of information, you will need to do a soil test. You can contact the Johnson County Soil and Water Conservation District for more information. In this video, I'll show you how to define the area of interest for your map, how to use several of the tabs, and then how to add your map to the shopping cart in order to create a printable version. So once we are at this website, we'll go to Start WSS, and the first thing we need to do is zoom in to the area that we're interested in. So I will choose to do it by address, and it can be a little bit picky about how you type this in. So this format is generally pretty good for me and I stick to it. And I'm gonna hit view or enter to zoom into that area. So as you can see at the top up here, we have all these different tools. And right now we're using the zoom in tool. If you wanted to move your map over, so maybe we wanna move it down, you need to hit the pan tool, which is the hand and then you pull up or down to move it around or left or right, but you need to click on the map first. All right, and then if you wanna go back into zoom in, we can click on the map and draw a square in the area where we want to zoom in. Just make sure that you, make sh you ensure that tool is on the right one before you click on your map. All right, so then we're gonna define our AOI. And if we had a perfectly rectangular area, we could use this AOI right here, but most of the time we're gonna have a polygon. Um, so we're gonna use this polygon AOI button. And you're gonna start by finding the area you want, clicking that button, and then click the screen. And then you can draw a line to wherever you want and click every time you wanna create a point. So I'm going to do it all around this area because to me this looks like kind of a backyard area. And Web Soil Survey is great for general information. However, sometimes your area is too small. Um, so that can be an issue when you're trying to get details. So oftentimes yards can be too small. So once you're done drawing your polygon, you're going to double click to finish creating your AOI. And then from here, once it's created, we're gonna to go to soil map to get the information about what types of soils are in this area. And as you can see, we have two different types of soils. You can see it both on the map and over here in the uh, legend. And we have a fox loam and a shoals silt loam. And if you click on the map unit name, it will tell you more information about that type of soil. So you can scroll through and read that. And it also tells you a breakdown of what percentage of the land in that yard is of each soil type. So then we wanna go up to the top and go to Soil, Soil Data Explorer. And this is where you can find its suitability for different types of activities and structures. And then you can get other types of information as well, which we will see in a minute. So I'm going to show you vegetative productivity and I'm gonna show you the Black Walnut Suitability Index. So as you can see, there's a warning that comes up because our area is technically too small. Uh, the soil mapping didn't get that detailed, but it, this can still give you a general idea of what soils you're working with in your property. So I clicked Black Walnut uh, Suitability Index and I'm gonna hit View Rating. Obviously our green is gonna be better than our yellow. We can scroll down and we can see more detailed information about what that means. You can also hit View Description and it'll bring up a blurb about what the Black Walnut Suitability Index means. So if I want this on my final map, I'm gonna hit Add to Shopping Cart, and I'm not gonna rename it anything. I'm gonna hit OK. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, so I encourage you to just look around these tabs and look at what interests you for your property. So the next tab I'm going to go to is Soil Properties and Qualities. And I'm going to go to Water Features, and I'm gonna to go to Depth of Water Table. And again, we get that warning. And so you can change the months that you're looking at right here, but I'm gonna leave it as is and hit view rating. And here you can see how many centimeters it is to the water table. And you can get more information on that. 
And so I want this on my final map. So I'm going to say add a shopping cart. Okay. And again, I would encourage you to look around at these features and see what you can add to your soil report. So then I'm going to go to soil reports and I'm going to look, there's a few more things. Some of them are on previous pages, but there's different types of um, information on them. So land management is a good one. And we'll look at damage by fire and seedling mortality on forest land. So we'll hit view soil report. And then you can see that on your two different types of soil, these are the potential of soil um, damage to soil by fire and seedling mortality. And there's more information on that below. I want to add this to my uh, final map. So I'm going to add it to my shopping cart. And then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to ignore the download soils data because that tab right here is for if you're using GIS. And we're not going to do that. So I'm going to go to shopping cart. And I can check off the different things that I want to include. So if I didn't want to include information on how soils are made or um, references, I could get rid of that information. And then I want to do check out and I want to do get now. And if you have your pop-up blocker on, that will be an issue. Um, so you need to turn that off. And now it's generating my soil report and you have a printable version of all the information and all the pictures that you uh, just created on the Web Soil Survey. And if you go back to Web Soil Survey and you want to start over, you're going to need to hit Log Out, even if you haven't created a um, username, and you want to do Start New Session. And from there, you can start all over. Good luck creating your Web Soil Surveys, and if you have any questions, you can contact the Johnson County Soil and Water Conservation District at 317-736-9540, extension 101.